All right, what's up everyone and welcome back to another round up review. In this one, we're taking a look at a pretty tough diving watch by the German company Mark & Sons. It's called the Diver Sport 2 and the specific reference we have here today is called the MSD-046-15. The watch comes in this leather-esque packaging box and opening that one up, you'll immediately be greeted by the watch itself. Let's put that to the side and then here in this compartment you have your warranty and I've also put a few links here. So here is the warranty and here is the instructions manual. Now let's first take a look at the watch's specifications. The diameter is 42 millimeters across. It's got a 50 millimeter lug to lug distance. It's quite thick at 15.4 millimeters and the lug width here is 22 millimeters. The case and the bracelet is made out of 316L stainless steel. The glass is sapphire with AR coating applied. It's actually also got a ceramic bezel that has loom applied to it. It's got a screw on case back and the watch is actually 30 atmosphere or 300 meters water resistant. The movement is a workhorse of a movement. It's the Seiko NH35. It's an automatic movement with 24 joules. It's got hacking seconds, 41 hours of power reserve, a date function, and it beats at 21,600 vibrations an hour. And it can also be hand wound with the screw in crown. The dial is matte black and it has applied and loomed indices and the hands and the second hand are also loomed as well. And as you can see here, the minute hand is actually orange to help with the legibility of the watch. So I'm just gonna unscrew the crown here and move the hands so that I can show you guys the text. It says Mark and & Sons and here it says 1000 feet slash 300 meters, professional, automatic, sapphire, and then down here it says made in Germany. The bracelet when it comes from the factory is 21 centimeters long. And as I said before, it has a 22 millimeter lug width. It's of course made out of stainless steel. Now this is a very thick and very heavy bracelet, as you can see here. Now I'm gonna compare this with my Omega Seamasters bracelet, which you can see here is actually a lot thinner. So it's definitely a very chunky watch. It's got a folding clasp, a very solid one with the, the Mark & Sons logo here. Now this one actually also has micro adjust. So if you pull these back, you get a few steps of nice micro adjusting. So that is very nice to see at this price point. So with the overview of the watch done, let's take a look at some of my likes and dislikes that I've noticed during my time with this watch. Now let's start with my likes. The first one being this watch has amazing specs for the price. It has an automatic movement, a screwing crown, 300 meters of water resistance, a very nice loomed ceramic bezel, sapphire glass, and you know, all the gist of it. So it's a very well specced watch for the price. It also has amazing loom. The first time I saw the loom on this watch, it blew my mind. Now I'm gonna show you a loom shot of the watch. It looks extremely cool with the loomed bezel and also the indices and hands. So definitely a good job on the loom. And another thing that I really like about this watch is that it has micro adjusting in the bracelet. Now that is something that not even my $4,000 Omega watch has. My Omega just has a very typical folding clasp and no micro adjusting whatsoever. And to see that on a three to $400 watch, that is very, very respectable. Now let's get into my dislikes with the watch and there are a few. The first one being it's a very, very heavy watch and it does take some time to get used to that. It's very thick, the bracelet is extremely thick and you know, that does make the watch very durable and very tough, but it does weigh a lot on the wrist and you definitely notice it. It's of course, as you guys have already seen, a very thick watch as well and so it doesn't slide under a cuff quite easily. Now the movement is, it's a fine movement. It does keep the time decently. I'm getting around plus 10 seconds a day, which is definitely within this movement's rating. But what I would have really wanted to see here 
is maybe a basic, a base level ETA 2824 and maybe just bump up the price, maybe 50 to $100 and get a much better movement. I mean, as I said, the NH35 is fine, but to me, it's not a movement worth servicing. Instead of servicing this watch, I would personally just buy a new movement and put it in here or an entirely new watch. But for the price, I really have to say this watch has surprised me. It's a fantastic watch. It's a very durable watch. It's a very meaty and chunky watch if you're into that. It's got amazing loom. The specs for the price are quite, quite good. The water resistance is very reassuring. There's not a whole lot to complain about other than that it's so thick and that the movement is practically not worth servicing. So with that said, I want to thank you guys for watching my review of the Mark & Sons Diver Sport 2. Let me know if you have any questions about this watch and also let me know how you feel about this watch in the comment section down below. Uh, please do feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and if it was helpful to you. Subscribe if you would like to see more watch videos and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.